So I believe we are live on Facebook and I've been postponing this for so, so long. As I was saying last week, I had to make a decision on how to introduce myself from now on, what um, street I'm taking and what will I do in the future as my job. And if you stay until the end, you will actually find out why now the, the, the internet exposure, the social media exposure, because until now I was a hidden woman with a business. I uh, was working and cooperating with companies and students all over the world and no one knew. And I was fine with it. I don't like praises. I hate statues. So uh, for me, it was fine being in the shadow and just having the satisfaction of helping a lot of people, mostly to build the bridges with um, languages, to get to have a nice conversation, to get to know a certain culture and so on. So I'm here before all of you, my students from all over the world, my clients, because I don't want you to get scared and seeing me with other activities online you could think okay she's starting something else she is going to abandon us and leave it to you know on in the air so until yesterday my presentation and my introduction was like this i am dinuxa i'm an interpreter translator language trainer oh and the titles could have gone uh, long and long enough but uh, yesterday, I wanted to change my title. Yes, I am still Dinuza, but I'm first of all an entrepreneur because I don't want to say a businesswoman. I don't think I have earned that title yet, but I have been working and I had, I'm uh, with my own business, I think for the last 10 years, the 15 years, I forgot. So I can't say that I'm an employee or that I've uh, been working as an employee or something like that. Basically, I'm an entrepreneur and I have two ways and two streets to take. On one side, I have an improvised office because we are moving around here and stuff. We have dogs, so I need uh, peace and quiet. So on one side of my office, I have all these, and all these, I mean the language part, okay, medical terminology, uh, files and files of classes and courses for my students, for the future lessons, for all my languages and so on. And on the other side, I have my recently discovered doTERRA business, or the one I'm trying to build, which is like this, and I have um, things that remind me and keep me happy about our meetings and what made me decide on the tour as well I think it will be hard but what made me it's basically this team people you meet new people people you can help it's not all about the money the satisfaction is when you see a person face and you say oh my god when I have a student and he starts, he or she starts from scratch the language and they say, okay, now I understand all that you are saying. Now I understand that. Now I know how to write. For me, that's the satisfaction. The fact that one person has discovered another way to communicate. So it's not always about the money, even if my grandma was always telling me, you would do great things if you have unlimited resources, okay? And maybe she was right in some points, but it's not all about the money. So back to me, as I was saying. Uh, so that being said about my, uh, my jobs, I wanted to assure all my students and customers and clients that I'm not backing out. I'm not uh, retiring for the, from the language business. I will be there. It's just, I need to drop some titles. So from now on, I will be a simple language trainer. Yes, I will have my soon to be published online school and I will tell you all about. And on the other side, I'm trying the doTERRA business because it helped a lot 
when I had issues and I think it's a great opportunity to work on. It will be difficult because when you have a company, you can delegate or you have employees, you have assistants and they can give you a hand. But when you are the company, as in my case, with my language, languages, it's difficult. People want you. They don't, don't want delegation. They don't want your colleague, your... It's not because they are worse or you are better than them. It's because they are used to you. Your type of um, interpreting, your attitude, your type of uh, teaching. So this is going to be hard. And I think, and my husband would agree, we are taking this risk of um, with the expenses of having no life for a while anyway, but it's worth it for me. And um, and for the people who care about me, I think uh, they know how much and how important it is uh, to do this. The problem is, in my case, I've been always, I have always been um, an optimist, the eternal optimist. Basically, I seek a solution before the problem, okay? So I am, this title, I think I will keep the eternal optimist because it's not something in the world that can be, that I, I can say, I can't do that. Yes, I can say, but after that I'm trying. So that's why I tell my students, don't give up. We all started from scratch. I am still scratching with uh, Portuguese and Spanish, for instance, and my Portuguese teacher would agree. I think she, I am driving her crazy sometimes, but what I mean, we all started from zero. So no laughing, no complaining, just get out there and do the thing that you enjoy most, you like most, and it brings you satisfaction. If with satisfaction you have the financial opportunities as well, why not? You know, while I was preparing this uh, live, I was thinking, okay, everyone will see you there. And they would say, okay, this one started at a certain point, Was she was working with uh, an e-commerce company. She was uh, there all in one, everything that was. She's starting studying. Um, Mom, I want to study um, European studies. I remember my first university. After that, after a year, I said, mm, I don't like it, mom. Can I change to law? I actually want criminal law. Would it be possible to go on that branch? And the third year, I said, mom, I remembered something. I like languages. I want languages as well. So the, the Western part of uh, my country accepted uh, me there for, I think, for about eight years. I, I lost track. And I studied, I started with law, my husband bore him, he started law as well, just because of me. So after 22 years, he is still stressing me about it. And I uh, started languages anyway, which now after all this year, I realized I am 40 years old. I, I'm a young 40 woman. I mean, I, uh, I had my birthday in uh, at the end of December. So at my 40s, I'm like, okay, you've studied and you have classes and you have teaching and all of this inside of this small, stupid brain, you know, it's difficult, but I never did it for a purpose. I mean, not a specific purpose. I wanted to do it for myself. And if I could help people even better, but I never thought of, okay, I am paying for this class or for this course, $2,000 or for this platform, $20,000. No, I've never thought of that. I thought of, okay, let's think big. Let's see what it brings us. And here I am, as I said, eternal optimist. But what I can say is the work I do, I always do the best I can. And I think my students who see me there, and maybe my colleagues from the e-commerce, you know, from Slovakia, uh, know what I'm talking about. Wherever I worked as a collaborator, interpreter, whatever, whatever area, yeah, 
I've only left good pieces of me. I mean, no one in that company could say, oh my God, she doesn't know what she's doing. Why are we paying her? No. Yes, they could say she is stubborn. She only does whatever she wants to. Basically, we need to schedule our uh, agenda around her. So I had that uh, a while ago as well. But uh, I believe that no one can say that I didn't do my best. And if I have to be a bit arrogant here, I think that I have a very good best. I have a very, very good best, but not, as I said, not because I need statues, because I need to feel good with myself and with the people from whom I'm asking uh, remuneration and payment and so on. So if you provide a good service, you would get appreciation and also good payments so you can do other things. Basically, take it from there, invest it here. Don't sleep on the money. Don't sleep on it. Don't, oh God, don't put it in the bank and uh, just let them there rotten or something. No, just invest in yourself. Man, woman, whatever you are, just do what you like. So this is me. And about social media and the fact that you will be seeing, and that's the last thing uh, I'm going to say, is that we are changing. We are not 20 years ago. I'm grateful to whatever that uh, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and whatever else weren't back on my age when I was 15, 17 years old because I was an arrogant brat. And I'm scared what I would have done on the internet. So... I'm glad that I'm old now and I think I think with a little bit more brain than before so what I want to do through social media is get to even more people so if I need to make a fool of myself on TikTok on Facebook Instagram LinkedIn YouTube I don't care I never did I told my husband if you want or if you feel the need, you can unfriend me on social media, but I know he doesn't care as well. We never cared of what people say. I'm serious. If I didn't have a conscience and a common sense, I would dance naked on the internet. I don't care what people say if I think that that thing can help someone. So that's why the whole internet exposure, that's why you will be seeing me more and more here once with my languages, the other time with uh, my uh, essential oils, because we are living in a changing world and I accept I need to be here and make a fool of myself. So thank you for your attention and you will be seeing more and more of me. I'm sorry. And uh, I can hardly wait to show you some of the samples from my language school soon and some other product, product, oh, sorry, <laughs> projects that we have. Have a nice day.